Hi, this is a quick video to show you how to set up a brand new terrain with Megasplat Texturing. So the first thing we're going to need is a terrain. So if we go to Game Objects, we go to 3D Objects, and we create a new terrain, that'll give us our terrain. So I have the, the uh, Terrain Painter already open, but if you're not familiar with that, you go to Windows, and you go to Terrain Painter here, and then what I like to do is dock it over here next to my inspector. Um, now, as of point, uh, version 0.98, there's a new Set Everything Up For Me button. If you click this button, uh, this will create the shader, the material, and the control maps automatically for me. Um, so it'll create them all in the asset folder, so probably the first thing you're going to want to do is move those somewhere uh, in your project where you want them. And so we can see here that we now have uh, a terrain shader, this terrain material that's been created for us. Go to the inspector and see that it's been set up as terrain, uh, and the splat control and splat parameter textures that are used to store the information about splat mapping. So next, we can go set some of the uh, data on our shader. So the first thing I want to do is choose a packing mode for my textures. Now, my favorite is the normal SAO. I think it gives the best balance between uh, performance and quality. And I already have my textures packed, and the textures packed for Megasplat are included in that packing. Um, so if you're following along, that's the one to use. So when we change any of these settings, it's going to recompile our shader uh, for our current settings. Um, we could spend more time in here, but for now, let's just get painting. So next, I need to assign the texture arrays for my textures uh, to these uh, albedo and the normal SAO uh, texture slots. You'll notice that under terrain data here, uh, under this rollout, there's already a splat control texture assigned. It'll only actually assign the parameter texture when the parameter texture is needed. Um, it will create it right away, uh, and then if it's not needed, it will uh, unassign it, and that's so you don't include that data in your build if you don't need it. So let's click on the albedo map and select the Megasplat Diffuse Texture Array. And then we can select the normal SAO uh, array uh, as well for the normal channel. So you can see our terrain is textured as if it's one uh, giant single texture. So the first thing we're going to want to do is change the texture scale so that our terrain tiles that texture a whole bunch of times. And so now this is looking more like a terrain. And just for testing the painting, we can flip over to our terrain painter. We can select our mesh, and that'll bring up the painting interface. And then what we have to do is select the texture array config that acts as our brushes. So again, we select our Megasplat Diffuse Texture Array, and now you can see all the brushes uh, for painting on this landscape. I like to put my uh, visualization to sphere, I mean, sorry, to disk instead of sphere, uh, but now you can select one of these texture clusters, and you can paint right onto this terrain. You can use a larger brush here, um, maybe paint some lava, um, you know, whatever textures we want. We can just paint down onto this terrain. Um, so yeah, so that's how easy it is to get started. There are other tutorials for converting existing terrains, um, but uh, it's actually pretty simple now uh, to get a terrain uh, up and running. Now, you may want to control uh, some other parameters here. You may decide that you want a higher res uh, splat map. So what you can actually do uh, before you work is uh, swap this texture for a higher res one. Um, and right now this is uh, 512 by 512, and that's because the default values in our terrain uh, were created at 512 by 512 in this um, splat control tab here for the terrain, which is in the settings panel, and you can see it, if I can find it here, the terrain uh, width and height were set to 500, so it made a 512 uh, pixel texture to control that. If you make uh, these, if you change these settings before you actually uh, run the, uh, you know, create all this data, then it'll create it at that resolution. Um, actually, uh, yeah, and then you can use your standard uh, terrain painting tools to, uh, you know, do heights and things like that. If you turn off the uh, painter here, we can change our brush size and opacity, sculpt our terrain as normal, and then flip over, use the terrain painter to paint textures onto this. Um, so yeah, it's pretty easy to get started. Uh, and um, if you ever have any problems, 
you can look at the material and make sure that the splat control texture is assigned. And the other little piece of data down here is this, this control size value that's displaying what uh, the texture size is. Uh, and that's actually very important uh, to be the correct size of the texture. Uh, in older versions, you have to type those yourself. Uh, now what it does is it actually just looks at the texture data and sets the size correctly. So I hope this has been useful, and uh, have fun. Thanks.